Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a giraffe. Um, the Milwaukee County Zoo has been open for a few weeks now and I love that because I love the zoo. It's nice, they're not letting that many people in at once so it's nice and open and you can wear your mask there. Um, I don't know why. I'm not advertising the zoo or anything. They're not paying me to say this. I just love the zoo. So anyway, the zoo has been open. So I got inspired and this week I'm going to be drawing two animals that I saw the last time I went to the zoo. First one being the giraffe, who is one of the cutest animals, I think. They have huge eyes. They always look like they're super sweet and friendly. Um, and last time I went to the zoo, I saw the giraffe eating a bunch of leaves that were kind of like tied to the edge of this little enclosure. So I thought we'd draw a giraffe. And this one's not too hard at all. It's a lot of fun because I love doing the patterns and all that stuff. Um, start with pencil first if you want to. It's not necessary, but it's up to you. You start with pencil first and then make sure you have your coloring stuff. For this one, I like actually coloring with crayon and marker. Um, it's not really important to do it either way, but I, I just think it makes it a little bit easier. And um, go ahead, get all your stuff, and let's get started. For this drawing, I'm going to start with my giraffe's snout. I want to leave some space below so there's room for the neck. I'm going to draw this a little bit below the center of my paper, and also a little bit to the right because I want room, again, for the neck. So maybe about here. I'm going to draw a line that's kind of like that, like a little smiley mouth. And then I'm going to have this curve under, like this, on both sides. Then I'm going to draw a big curve line under, like a big smiley mouth, just like that. And then you can draw a nostril on each side. I kind of go up and over and then connect this back and leave that little line there. And then fill that in with black. All right, now we're going to start drawing the shape for the face. It's skinnier at the bottom, gets kind of big right where the eyes are, and then gets skinny again. So let's start right below the little nostril area. Let's have it kind of curve up, and then bump way out and back. So see that? It's kind of skinny, and then whoop, bumps way out. Before I draw the horns, I'm going to try to match the other side. Okay, that's pretty close and then kind of like these horns are just about as wide as the bottom of the face so I'm gonna go up a rounded kind of top down across up rounded top down and there we go all connected for the ears we're gonna start kind of where the the bump for the head goes back in I'm gonna go straight and then curve up and over like that and then I like to just do a nice curved line that kind of goes all the way back to the head like that inside the ear you can draw an extra line like this that kind of matches and then a few little lines inside to kind of give it a fold and make the ear look like it's more three-dimensional And now we're going to do the eyes. So starting kind of near the bottom of this bump, but over this way, I'm going to draw a line that's got an angle like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Think of it like the bump on the face is going to be holding the eyes, because giraffes, they have really big eyes. So I did this, and now starting at the end of my curved line, starting at the end, we're going to do a curved line, but it's not going to connect all the way back. We want it like that, so see there's a little bit left over. Just like that. And add a little shine in each eye, and then you can fill it in. Perfect. Now I'm going to add some eyelashes. 
Giraffes, they have really big, long eyelashes. Um, it helps get like dust out of their eyes since they live somewhere that's very hot and dusty. All right, now we're ready to draw the neck and then we can start adding our leaves. So I'd say like maybe right below the eye, do one diagonal line. And then for the other one, just start a little lower and have it angle a little bit differently so that the neck is skinnier and bigger. See how, because I did them a little bit different angles, it gets bigger at the bottom. Now I can do my leaves, which we've drawn a bunch of times here. I do two kind of curved lines. I give them a little point at the end. And then in the middle, straight line with a few little diagonal lines coming up. And just add as many as you want. All right, perfect. I'm done drawing with my Sharpie marker and now it's time to start coloring. I'm going to use both markers and crayons for this one and I'm gonna start with a brown marker to do all of my giraffe's spots. I'm gonna talk you through how to make some of these spots, but first we're gonna make this shape on the head. So starting right in the middle where the snout is, you're gonna make a line that goes straight up and then when it gets kind of over the eye, it curves over. And then try to match on the other side. That we're gonna fill in with brown, but first we'll make our spots. So the spots on your giraffe, they're kind of almost like rectangles and squares that are rounded. And they're all different and kind of uneven. So you can make like a rounded rectangle like that. You can make a rounded triangle like that. You can make a few little squares, rectangles, circles, things like that. But try to make them all a little bit different. All right, now that I have my spots drawn and this, I'm gonna fill all these in with my brown marker. Now that I'm finished with my brown marker, I'm just going to go ahead and color in my rest of my giraffe with the yellow, or if you have like a light tan, that could work. And then I'm also going to use a green marker and a green crayon to color in my leaves. All right, and with that, I am all finished with my giraffe picture. I could add some extra details like Oh, you could add some more giraffes in the background. That could be kind of cool. Or you could color the sky in. But just take your time and have fun with your giraffe drawing. All right, guys, I hope you had fun drawing giraffes with me today. Like I said, I think giraffes are so cute and they're not that hard to draw, actually, especially if you're just drawing the faces. Um, but with this one, hopefully you had fun drawing it, adding your colors and designs. And then I will see you guys on Thursday for another animal drawing video of an animal that I saw when I was at the zoo. Bye.